Hello everyone, welcome to the 5 minute series with Dentistry Made Easy. So in this particular series, what we are going to do is we are going to see different reviews, different trials, definition, short, short, important topics of dental subjects in the duration of 5 minutes. Now that we have already seen about dentine bonding agents in depth and if you haven't watched those videos, so I'm going to share the link in the description box below. So this short video is particularly to see one of such trial which was done to check which dentine bonding agent it has the highest retention and strength. So this question it is very commonly asked in MCQs or also in VIVAS where the examiner they will ask you which dentine bonding agent it has the highest strength and why. So what they did was they applied the 4th generation, 5th generation, 6th generation and 7th generation dentine bonding agents on a non carious class 5 situation. Now what do you mean by this different generation or by this class 5? So you can see that in the videos which I have uploaded under the topic of dentine bonding agent like there are three parts of it and GV Black's classification. So they took 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th generation agents from the same manufacturer or the company as it will not show any differences and they have applied all of this different dentine bonding agents on class 5 tooth surface. So 4th generation basically is nothing but it is when you are applying the HM separately, primer separately and adhesive separately. 5th generation was when you are applying HM separately but primer and adhesive they were mixed in one bottle so because of that fourth generation and fifth generation they were known as H and RIN adhesive now whereas sixth generation and seventh generation they are known as the self H adhesive now which means sixth generation so you apply the H and, and primer together so H and, and primer they were mixed together in one bottle and you need to apply adhesive separately for sixth generation whereas in seventh generation all the three components they were mixed together in one bottle that is all in one after the results they have seen that only fourth generation dentine bonding agent it has more than 90 percent retention rate at 18 months which is necessary to fulfill the ada requirement so although this total edge technique it has some disadvantage which led to the development of fifth generation dentine bonding agent still fourth generation they are considered the gold standard when you're considering them in the terms of bond strength so it is said that bond strength it is directly proportional to the clinical success like the more strength you have for your dentine bonding agent more it is going to be successful in future so in that term fourth generation is by far the best one so this was all about this small clinical trial which was done and the answer for this is the fourth generation dentine bonding agent. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much.